Once upon a time in a far-off kingdom, there lived three velociraptors. Tiny, whiny, and spiny. There was no peace in the land, for a big bad T-Rex whose home was in the clouds liked to visit and cause trouble. I take everyone's stuff, and I never share! He roared cheerfully. But you don't understand! That's not nice! Said Spiny. Hey, I'ma take your piece of cake! Replied T-Rex. Spiny held on to the plate as T-Rex threw it in his bucket. He stomped up to the clouds, laughing the whole way. <laughs> Whiny! A big bad giant just took Spiny! What will we do now? And he also took a whole lot of food, and he took all the toys! Oh no! That night, they were so sad and very hungry. The next day, Whiny left early to search for berries in the hills. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. Well, hello there. I'm just passing on through, and I noticed the woolly mammoth in your yard. Perhaps you'd like to make an even trade for a handful of super beans. But they're shiny with spots. There's five of them. Whoa! What's five? It's a really big number. Mister, you just made a sale. And off went the traveling peddler, taking their mammoth with him. I'm back. What's up? I just sold our mammoth for a big number! Huh? A big number of what? Shiny spotty beans! Tiny! That was not smart! That was silly! So, so shiny! This is the worst time ever! And he threw Tiny's beans out the window! Whiny felt so sad, but the peddler had told the truth. The beans really were super. And shiny. And shiny. In a moment, the beans turned into a big vine that went all the way up to the clouds. Whoa! Where are you going? Come back. I wouldn't do that. Piece of cake. I'm going to rescue Spiny! Tiny ran up the vine and into the clouds and happened upon T-Rex's castle. Look at all the stolen toys! And look at all the stolen food! Tiny snuck past T-Rex, who was fast asleep after eating a feast. Tiny carefully lowered Spiny's cage and freed him. Let's get out of here. Suddenly, T-Rex awoke. One, two, three, four. I smell the breath of a dinosaur. As Tiny and Spiny snuck toward the door, there was a loud squawk. T-Rex! T-Rex, wake up! Your prisoner is escaping! <gasps> Huh? What? Hey! Get back here! Piece of cake! Let's go! As T-Rex got up, he tripped and he fell. He tied your shoelaces! He tied your shoelaces! Ah! I know that! Hurry, Tiny! Hurry! Hurry, Spiny! Hurry! At last, they were safe on the ground. But T-Rex was close behind. One, two, three, four. I smell the breath of a dinosaur. Yeah! Piece of cake. Nom, 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 nom. The vine crashed to the ground. And T-Rex fell into a big sticky tar pit. 
Oh, somebody please help me! If you promise to play nice and learn to share and give everyone their food and toys back, we'll help you out. I promise! I promise! So they rescued T-Rex and gave him a bath. They lived in harmony and happiness. And T-Rex behaved very well and shared everything with those around him. Until... Until the next episode!